Hello folks, the lovely people at Hair Pasta Freckle Blog have asked me to tell them 10 things about myself. So, so here goes. Uh, number one, I, uh, I live in Kent, rural Kent, pretty much in the middle of nowhere. I mean, not, not here, obviously, this is a, this is a field, um, but uh, in, a, in a house over there somewhere. And it's, uh, it's a magical place. I live with the writer, Claire Burgess, and she's also a gardening blogger and well, grown up kids and a couple of chickens. So that's about five, five things about me. No, 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 only counts as one. Okay, right, so next. Out here is the last place I expected to end up because uh, I was born in London. Uh, obviously, Big Ben at the stroke of 10 o'clock at night in a maternity ward haunted by Florence Nightingale. I saw Star Wars in February 1978 when I was five, and to say it had a profound effect on me would be an understatement. After that, I wanted to make things up. Books, drawings, acting, I tried it all. The first fantasy I ever read was Ursula K. Le Guin's The Wizard of Earthsea, and it blew my tiny little mind. Then Douglas Adams, Terry Pratchett, Robert Rankin made me realise science fiction and fantasy could be a love too. So there I was, this kid who wanted to write, but... My parents were school caretakers, didn't know anyone in book selling or publishing or anything like that. Then I got a job at Waterstones in Dorking. Christmas job, supposed to be completely temporary. It's 20 years old, didn't mean to stay, but I ended up working in book selling and publishing for over 25 years, getting to meet some of my favorite authors while selling their books and writing in my spare time. Then I got to write a movie, Robot Overlords with Sir Ben Kingsley, Gillian Anderson, and it premiered at the London Film Festival. I also wrote the book of the film, and I was a published author, and it made me very happy. It's me and Forbidden Planet. I found my book. Look how happy I am. I also present a podcast for writers called The Best Seller Experiment. My co-presenter and I, Mark DeVoe, we challenged ourselves to co-write a novel and get some of those Kindle bestseller flags in a year. The book, Back to Reality, topped 10 charts worldwide but more importantly we challenged our listeners to beat us to it and many of them did and here are just some of the books published by our listeners since the podcast began <laughs> i've got another film coming a horror movie there are the stars douglas booth hannah john cayman probably coming out early 2022 but i do have a book out right now and it's called the crow folk his little trailer I made. England, June 1940, and three bickering witches are the only thing standing between us and the evil forces of the supernatural. Oh, and there's a war on. The Witches of Woodville chronicles the wartime adventures of three witches. Faye Bright is an apprentice who learns about magic from a book left to her by a late mother. She's helped by the prim and proper Mrs. Teach, and the enigmatic Miss Charlotte. And they all live in the village of Woodville, deep in the heart of the Kent countryside. The village is besieged by the crow folk, living scarecrows, led by the charismatic Pumpkinhead. Faye must unite the witches of Woodville using her magic, her wits, and some aggressive church bell ringing. The witches will argue and drive each other mad, but they will remain resolute as our last defense against supernatural evil. And cut. And... Ah, that was filmed in the summer. Do you remember the summer? I know I do. Looking forward to the next one. Uh, but since then, Lots of people have been saying very, very lovely things about the book. And The Crow Folk is the first in the series, The Witches of Woodville. And I like it in Woodville. And I, I plan to stay here for some time. And you're all welcome too. Come and join the Woodville Village community. You get free books at the library. Catch up with news on the parish notice board. Visit the bookshop and drop me a line. Visit witchesofwoodville.com for more. And a big thank you to Herr Pastor Freckle for inviting me to tell you these 10 things about me. Happy reading and see you again soon. Bye.